hi everyone this is hello angel design today i am going to show you how to make this beautiful dress with a pleat at the side of the dress and a velvet ribbon at the chest line and this dress has a zipper at the center back you can attach a zipper or button hole and the way i hem my dress is a very beautiful way to hem your dress if you want to know that Keep watching the video until the end and please also support us on our new YouTube channel where I make handmade natural soap for your beauty skin I'll put the link on my description box below so that you can subscribe to edo.beauty soap please support us on our social media platform subscribe to our YouTube like the video comment down below if you have any question and let's get started thing that you have to do you grab your a-line pattern paper this is my a-line pattern paper three to four years old child this is the front and this is the back pattern paper so i'll put the back pattern paper aside i'm going to adjust the front pattern paper so what you are going to do from the neckline i'm going to take a measurement of one centimeter once you take that measurement you take your arm hook curve you connect it down so you place your arm hook curve like this and you just connect it down to that one centimeter once you have connected down the next thing that you have to do you take your paper scissors you cut it out i have cut it out the next thing that you have to do you take your measuring tape place it at the shoulder so you're going to take a measurement of 12 centimeter or 4.75 inch once you take that measurement you take your marker you mark that once you have marked that the next thing that you have to do you take your ruler you connect that down once you connect it down, the next thing that you have to do, you take your paper scissors, you cut it out. I have cut it out. This is how it is. This is my front. So I write center front. Make sure you should write center front, center front. So that when you're placing it on your fabric, you know that the front is going to be on fold. And this is also going to be on fold. This is the adjustment that we need on the front pattern paper. For the back pattern paper, we don't need any adjustment so the next thing that i'm going to do i am going to pin my pattern paper on my lining then i will use my lining to cut out my fabric so this is the fabric i'm going to use to make this dress and i have a suede ribbon right here this suede ribbon i'm going to use it to cover the seam at the front of the fabric when we cut it out so this is what i'm using you can use a ribbon or you can even use a normal fabric so this is what i'm going to use to make this dress that we are making today i have pinned my front pattern paper on my fabric so it's on fold i measure inside one inch or 2.5 centimeter from the top edge i add one centimeter seam allowance all around the armhole the side seam for the bottom edge, I add 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. If you did not add seam allowance on your pattern paper when making your pattern, when you place your pattern paper on your fabric, make sure to add your seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you prefer to add on your fabric. Add it all around. Once you have done that, you take your scissors, you cut it out. I will go ahead right now and cut it out. Once I am done with that, I will place the back pattern paper on my fabric and also show you how to cut it out. I have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric for the center back because I'm cutting two pieces for the center back. I add 1.5 centimeter. If you're using inchy, you, you can measure half an inch for your zipper. It's not going to be more than half an inch. Don't make it more than half an inch for your zipper. For the neckline, shoulder, arm or size seam, I add one centimeter seam allowance. For the bottom edge, I add half an inch or 1.3 centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scissors and then cut it out. I have pinned the top pattern 
on my fabric for the front. So you remember when we adjust the front, so this is going to be the front when you join it together. You can see that the center front is at the fold hem on my fabric. So this fabric is on fold. So make sure that when you pin it on your fabric, the front here is going to be on fold. Pin it all around and add your seam allowance. Remember that we are cutting the lining first. We are not cutting the main fabric because we are going to use our lining to cut out our May fabric. And when you are cutting your May fabric at the bottom edge of your dressmaking, so make sure that the bottom edge of your May fabric is a little bit longer than your lining. So for me, I'm going to add half an inch at the bottom edge of my May fabric when I'm cutting them out. So I'll go ahead and cut this out once I am done with that and I will cut out my May fabric. First thing that you have to do, you take your lining and your May fabric, you just fold it. So the way I am going to stitch this dress, I don't want the pleat to be at the center of the dressmaking. I want the pleat to be at the side of the dressmaking. When we were cutting our fabric, we measure inside one inch. So that is our pleat. So this is the one inch that I've already marked right here. From the very top again, you also measure down one inch. So this is it. This is also the one inch. You also repeat the same process with your May fabric. Because a lot of you guys cannot see the May fabric marker, so I'm using the lining to show how you can stitch it together. So what you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine. You're going to start stitching from the beginning of the lining. You stitch it down to where the one inch end. You also come to your May fabric. Start from the beginning, you stitch it down to where the one inch end. Once you have done that, take it to your ironing board and give it a nice good press. I have stitched it together. I take it to my ironing board, I give it a good press. What you are going to do, you take your front bodies, you take your scissors, you notch the mid part. And you also put this together like this. You take your scissors, you also notch the mid part. Once you have done that, what you are going to do, you're going to put the both mid part together. You open your front bodies, place them together like this, and you go ahead and pin it all together. You also repeat the same process with your May fabric. I have pinning together. What I'm going to do, I'll take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. And you also take your May fabric, make sure to pin them together properly. Take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, take it to your honey board and give it a nice good press. I have stitched it in place. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a nice good press. The next thing that you have to do, you take your ribbon. If you're using a ribbon or you're using a velvet ribbon. So I will just place mine like this and I will secure the ribbon and my fabric together. So once I am done securing them with a pin, I will take it to my sewing machine. I will top stitch the top edge in place and I will also top stitch the bottom edge of the ribbon together. So once I am done with that, I will make a bow, just a little bow. This is my bow right here. So what I'm going to do, this is where the plate is. I'm going to place it like this. After I have secured the ribbon in place before, I will place my bow on top of it and give it a top stitch. So go ahead and stitch that together. I have given it a top stitch and I've also stitched my bow. This is how it look once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do, you take your back bodies, you are going to put the both shoulders same together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. So once you have put the both shoulders seam together, take it to your sewing machine top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. And you also take your lining 
Pull the both shoulders seam together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Take it to your sewing machine. Stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart. I have top stitch the shoulder seam of my top dress together the next thing that you have to do you pick your lining this is the back of my lining and this is the front of my lining you are going to put the both front fabric together like this once you have done putting them together take your pin pin around the neck lining pin around the boat armhole once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch around the neckline stitch around the boat armhole before you start stitching the neckline make sure to measure your seam allowance inside that is for your zipper or button hole so my seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter so this is my 1.5 centimeter i will start stitching from here and i will end before 1.5 centimeter then i will end on this other side once i am done stitching i will take my scissors i will snip around the neckline curved and i will also repeat the same process with the bow armhole once i am done with that i will take it to my ironing board and give it a nice good press I have stitched around the neckline and I've also stitched around the armhole. I take it to my ironing board, I give it a nice good press. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put the side seam of our dress together. Pick the male fabric, make sure that they are together and lining together. Put the both side seam together, take it to your sewing machine and stitch the side seam together. And you also come down to this other side, you pick your back bodies and your front bodies, you pick the boat lining, front and back, put them together like this, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the side seam together. Once you have done that, take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched the side seam of my dress this is how it look once you have done stitching the side seam of your dress the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch your zipper at the center back before you stitch your zipper at the center back take the measurement where you want your zipper to end i have iron zipper right here my zipper is 30.5 centimeter or 12 inch i place a green pin right here so this is my green pin and I also measure my seam allowance inside my seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter depends on the seam allowance that you add on the center back of your dress make sure you measure it inside the next thing that you have to do you just go ahead and open your zipper pin your zipper at the center back the way I usually stitch my zipper, even if I'm stitching invisible zipper, I will pin it at the center back, thread my needle, use hand stitch to stitch it in place, and then remove the pins, and then I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. So go ahead and stitch your zipper at the center back. And you can also see that my zipper is iron zipper. If you're using iron zipper, be very careful with the mat of the zipper because you don't want to mess up your needle. So I'll go ahead and pin it in place, use hand stitch, and then take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. I have stitched my zipper and I've also used my lining to cover the raw edges of my zipper. This is how it looks inside. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to finish closing the center back. All you have to do, you put the male fabric together like this. You go ahead and stitch it together and you pick the lining. You go ahead and stitch it together.
I have finished stitching the center back. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I just press the seam apart. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to hem your dress. You can either fold it one centimeter and fold it again in top stitch, or you can hem it the way I am going to hem my dress. That is a very beautiful finished. So you open your May fabric like this, and this is my lining. This is the front of my lining. This is the back. This is the back of my May fabric. So this is the size seam of my dressmaking, and this is the size seam of my May fabric. So what I'm going to do, I will pick my lining like this. This is the front. And I will pick my May fabric like this. This is the front. So I am going to turn them like this. You can see the way I turn it. Front, front. You just pick them like this and you put them together like this. Once you put them together, use a pin to secure that in place. You start pulling your lining. You can see the way I'm pulling my lining. You can start pulling your lining and you start pinning the bottom edge around. I have pinned it all around. This is how it is. Before you take it to your sewing machine and top stitch, make sure that you leave a gap. You can see my three green pin right here. I'm leaving this gap so that I can be able to pull my fabric out. That means I'm going to turn it inside out from this gap that I'm going to leave. So you just start stitching it all around and you end on this other side. Depends on the gap that you leave on your dress. Once you stitch it all around, trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. Then I will come back here and show you how to turn it inside out. I have given it a top stitch all around the dress. This is how it is. And I trim a little bit out from my seam allowance. So this is the gap I left open. This is where I'm going to put my hand inside and start pulling my dress out. I have turned my dress inside out. This is how it look right now. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my ironing board and give it a nice good press. I have ironed my dress. This is how it is once you have done that. And this is how the inside of the dress will look because my lining is shorter than my May fabric. You can see how it is. For the open gap, all you have to do, you just thread your needle and use hand stitch to finish the open gap. Once you have done that, that is the final look of your dressmaking. Thank you all so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.